Okay, in this problem, we have a ball that is sliding down a curved frictionless surface, AB. So, after the, it reaches the point B, it's given that the velocity becomes horizontal and it does a horizontal projectile motion from B to C. And after the collision from point C, it does another projectile motion. So, we need to find this D, H1, U0 and V. So, we can easily find out the horizontal velocity u0 by conserving energy between points a and b. Since it's a frictionless horizontal, uh, I mean curved surface, energy is conserved. So the decrease in potential energy is equal to the gain in kinetic energy. By using that principle, we get u0 as root 2gh and the direction is obviously in the horizontal direction, which is x cap in this case. Okay, now in this horizontal projectile motion, we can find the time of flight as root 2h by g, where h is the height through which it falls, which in this case is 3h. That is the height of this terrace. So after you calculate that, it comes out to be root 6h by g. And now we can find the d, which is uh, the range of this projectile, as u0 times the time of flight, right? So speed into time. So the u0, we just calculated it to be root 2gh and the time of flight is root 6h by g, which comes out to be 2 root 3 times h. So we get this relation, d equals 2 root 3h. All right. Now, the vertical velocity, like when this ball reaches the point C, before this collision, is root 2gh, which is root 6gh, because the height is 3h in this case. All right. So now... Now, just before the collision, we need to find this angle theta that the velocity vector makes with the horizontal. And that we can simply do by uh, finding tan theta in this case. So we just calculated Vz to be root 6gh. So Vz upon Vx would be tan theta. And tan theta comes out to be root 3, which means theta is 60 degree, which is option C, I guess. Now, this is a concept from collisions. So if the collision in picture is an elastic collision and if the ball hits a wall or something before the velocity that is normal to the surface which in this case is vz it becomes e times vz after the collision right and the horizontal velocity remains unchanged okay using that concept so after collision e is given to be 1 by root 3 in this case so it becomes 1 by root 3 times root 6 gh, which is root 2 gh. So the final velocity after collision at point C becomes root 2 gh times x cap plus z cap. Now, h1, which is the maximum height of the projectile, of this projectile after the collision at point C, that we can just use the formula vz square by 2g, right? Where vz is this velocity, this vertical velocity. And that we just calculated, it is root 2gh. So this would become h. So we get the value of h1 as h. Now we had the relation d as 2 root 3h. And as h1 is h, we get d equals 2 root 3h1, which is option d. So that's it. Thank you.